Hi there, today I'm going to show you the multi-directional camera, the PNM 9080 or 9081QV. In the setup menu here, you'll see we have a channel selection, channel 1, 2, 3, and 4, for each of the imagers. Each channel has its own video profiles. So if I create a new profile to record to the SD card, for example, so I'll check the, H2, the record checkbox here, I can change the codec to H.265, I can set my frame rate, my resolution, my bit rate, whatever settings I need to change, and hit apply. And we'll come up, and you'll see there's my new profile. If I go to a different channel, you'll see each channel has its unique profile. So we'd have to repeat that for each channel. That gives you a lot of flexibility of what you want the system to do. When we go down to things like video setup in terms of setting privacy zones, that's also done channel by channel. If we want to set one to the rotation for hallway mode, that's done channel by channel. Same thing for camera setup, setting up the wide dynamic range, things like that. So if we switch on over to the WiseNet device manager, which is typically how you manage larger systems, I can select my camera. And if we go to video setup, you'll see I can go in and edit those video profiles. So there's the profile I created. We can double click the result column to load in the current settings over here and see all my settings I put in. But you'll also see there's a channel selection. So right now we're viewing channel one. So if I want to make a change, we can choose the right channel we want. And we can select the profile, add new profiles, delete profiles, whatever we need to do. And what this allows you to do is if I had a lot of cameras of the same model, of the same PNM 9080 or 9081, they'd be listed here on the left-hand side. We could then choose each channel and be able to push out those settings to all my cameras. So that way channel 1 is, is the same, channel 2 is the same, 3, 4 is the same as among all the different models of that camera. Same thing if we go to things like device setup and we want to focus a camera, set hallway mode, wide stream. That is done per channel. If we go to things like event setup for motion detection, And finally, the camera setup, where we can change things like the WDR, exposure, brightness, day-night, and OSD settings for each imager.